Hey everyone, so we realized that it's been about a year since we've done a financial update, uh, so we figured this would be a good opportunity to do that right before we go to weekly videos. So since our project is fully funded by donations, we also feel like it's a good idea to let you guys know where all that money is going and how it's being spent. It's also a good way for us to help people out who think they might want to do something like this and kind of have an idea of where that money is going and how it's being spent. When we started the build in uh, January of 2016, I guess it's kind of a mark when we cut down the first tree and actually really started this whole shebang. Uh, we were completely self-funded. We had zero YouTube subscribers, zero Instagram followers. And from, there, from then till now, a lot of things have changed. So last year we did an update and we hit 24,000 YouTube subscribers. And we had enough money where we had both quit our full-time jobs. I had cashed in my 401k and was working part-time we were putting a lot more time and energy towards the build uh, and we are started to see some great strides. I mean, we made tremendous progress this last year, especially this past summer and fall. Um, and things have changed a lot since then uh, with bringing on Ben and Clemencia and switching over to weekly videos. So we wanted to run you through those numbers a little bit. Uh, and if you're curious to where things were a year ago, uh, we won't dig into that too deep right now, but you can just go back and check out that video uh, and that'll lay it all out for you pretty well. So one of the biggest things that we gave up when we left traditional employment was health insurance. So while Steve was still working at the gym, he still had insurance there. So he gave it up for just about a year. And since I quit and came down here full time, I haven't had it since, you know, that 2016 mark. So it's been, it was over two years. Now we've finally gotten health insurance. We're paying that um, just through the finances, through the donations. Um, which is a huge weight lifted off of our back with doing all of this kind of heavy lifting and heavy work there's you know there's a little bit of uh, potential for getting hurt so now we should be all set with that as for the other finances they're more or less the same as what they were when we had the 24,000 subscribers they've obviously gone up just like everything does these days so you know electricity food all that kind of things have just kind of ticked up a little bit but it's more or less that same marker as last time so a year ago we had 24,000 YouTube subscribers and we got about $1,200 a month from Patreon per video. Um, so it was enough to keep our heads above water but not do a heck of a lot more than that. And uh, now the game has definitely changed. So we are nearing on 100,000 subscribers. We should cross that mark in the next few days which is just mind boggling. Um, and per video, we've ticked up to about 4,500 per video, which um, is a lot more than we were making a year ago. And one of the things that's kind of funny with boats, or I'm sure houses or anything, is when you ask how much it costs, oftentimes people will tell you how much money do you have. And the build and the project have kind of gone that way. Um, so the more money we've made on the project, the more money we have spent on the project. And we've seen huge gains for that. Uh, the bronze floor timbers are a perfect example of that. We never in our wildest dreams believed that we would be able to give Arabella bronze floors. Um, but the support came and here we are putting in bronze floors. Same thing with bringing on Ben and Clemencia to up to weekly videos and help make the videos just that much better and to take some of the stress off our backs with just all the logistics and sending out Patreon rewards and all that stuff that we do so that Alex and I can focus more on filming the build and, you know, building the build, uh, which has been a really big difference. Um, so all the extra money we've made has just, we just poured it right back into the project. Um, so we're still living on a little over $2,000 a month, and then everything else is either going to pay Ben and Clemencia uh, for their hard work, or we are dumping it into Bella. So once we tick up to weekly videos, starting next week, um, our best guess is that Patreon will bring in somewhere around $10,000 a month, and then we'll have another one and a half to two and a half thousand a month from YouTube ad revenue. It's really all over the board. It just depends on the views and the clicks that month and how much they're paying per ad. And I don't know, you can go ask YouTube how they make that all work. Um, and then we get another somewhere between one to two thousand dollars a month in donations. And what that is, is that's the ones that come through Squarespace. We also consider merchandise sales in there as well as the t-shirt campaigns. So that's kind of an average over the course of the year. Some months it's really low and some months when we run like a t-shirt campaign it's high, but that kind of averages out. So over the course of the year we should take in like a monthly um, income for the build of around 13000 and then that gets divvied up between paying our living expenses, taking care of Ben and Clemencia for the hard work they're doing, 
And also other things for overhead like um, postal service fees. You would not, you would not uh, believe how much we spend on postal service. <laughs> so when all of that is said and done, that leaves us right around $4,000 a month left over. Uh, and all of that money we've just been pouring into Arabella. Um, so that was the money for the bronze floors and the bronze for the backbone. That was getting the cedar logs trucked here. Um, all of that kind of stuff because boat building is not cheap. And you know the old adage is like, how much does a house cost? How much does a boat cost? How much money do you have? And the reason it's answered that way is because there's always a way to spend more money. There's always a way to upgrade it. And we've been doing that. So we went from wooden floor timbers, like the plans called for, that would have been very cheap, to much better, much longer lasting bronze floors. So a lot more expensive, but a much longer and better life for Arabella. So well worth the money, and we're able to, to do those things and make those upgrades. Big thanks to all of you. Um, we really, really appreciate it. And we just filed our taxes, which if you are in the United States, you probably just did that as well. Um, and we got our results back. So we aren't gonna actually post our tax returns, but we'll tell you how much money we took home. So I actually just came back from the tax accountant and we went over all those numbers. Um, so after everything with our gross income, our deductibles and all that kind of stuff, Steve and I actually just took home a little bit over 22,000 each for the year. And that is what we're paying all of our living expenses out of. That is food, that's rent, that's all that kind of stuff, but it's also our massive student loan <laughs> debts that we have to pay off um, before we go. Uh, which has been fine so far, but we're looking to keep adjusting that as we go. Um, the other thing is, moving forward, we're going to have a lot of expenses for Arabella, including like the systems and all the other things that are going on board, the sales, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to keep adjusting that goal on Patreon until we can get to um, something that looks great. The other thing we'd really like to do is be able to pay uh, Ben and Clemencia exactly what they're worth, which is really important for us. So why don't we go over some of the other ideas that Steve and I have moving forward with the merchandise and how we're working with um, other companies. So some of the upcoming things this year that we're hoping to do are increase the merchandise a little bit. We've had a lot of people who have asked for hats and mugs and long sleeve shirts and that kind of thing. And up to this point, with Alex and I juggling everything, we just have not had the chance to do any of that. Um, so now that we have Clemencia on board, who we'll introduce in an upcoming video very soon, um, she's starting to work on all of that kind of stuff. So as the summer rolls on, we should start slowly kind of releasing some of those things, um, which would be really great. So one of those things that Steve's talking about, as you might have noticed, is we've been working with Jamestown Distributors. You can notice we've been wearing a lot of their stuff lately. They have been awesome with helping us out. Just a great company overall. Um, they're not even asking us to do this, but what they did is they put together a referral code that we're going to have down in the description below to help us out. Basically, if you click on that link, it'll take you to their website, and anything you buy through that link, they will give us 5%. Um, so that's a good non-traditional way to help us. We know that not everybody is into the whole Patreon thing or donating through the website using a credit card. Um, so again, Jamestown has been amazing. If you want to support us, that's a great way to do it. Another thing we're working on is we're setting up a wish list on the website. So all the kinds of tools that we're going to need and we're trying to upgrade the camera gear. Um, so if you'd like to help out with something like that, go and check that out. We'll have that up and live soon. Thank you so much for all the support. Um, we are doing better than we kind of ever imagined that we would. The project has gone to places that we never thought it would. <laughs> and we are so ecstatic to keep it going and to just keep upping the production value and going to weekly videos next week and doing everything we can to build Arabella the best she can and get out on the water ASAP. And then the real adventure begins. Uh, and we are really really looking forward to that and then in this next coming year we are really really hoping to get the planks on we should start hanging those right after the open house may 4th hope to see you there uh, and then after that we'll be jumping on to the interior so figuring out what to do with the diesel and starting to put in deck beams and bulkheads and build out the living space and we're really really excited to be doing that hopefully this fall this winter um, so if you're available May 4th, hope to see you at the Hope and House. It'll be from 12 to 7. If you go to our website and scroll down a little bit, you'll find all the information on that. And yet again, thank you so much for watching, viewing, liking, subscribing, telling your friends. However you choose to support us, and even if you don't support us, we are psyched to have you following along. We hope that you're enjoying the videos, that you're learning a lot. 
and enjoying this whole shebang as much as we are. So we're going to clip blather in here and uh, get back to work. And remember, weekly videos starting next week. And remember, if you um, want to get notified for the weekly videos, make sure you subscribe down below. There's a little bell that's there that'll notify you when the videos come out so you don't miss those weekly videos.